I am Jean Vivier from Groenland. And I'm Joe from Groenland too. And you're watching the AU Review. Oh, it's Jazz Fest time. Is it, this must be an incredible time for the city. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and for us too. It's, uh, it's funny because it's the biggest show maybe we, we will do tonight. Uh, we, we did uh, Trois Rivières yesterday, big festival, in front of like 10,000 people in Quebec City. And it's, it's pretty much the, the peak of the season for us. So uh, wow. super happy. Jazz Fest, first time, yeah. First time playing Jazz Fest? Yeah, yeah. And playing with St. Vincent tonight? Yeah. First time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you looking forward to, uh, to get to share the stage with her? Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna meet her, but if I can see her hair, I will be <laughs> like, I will be like, okay. You, I'm sure, I'm sure you won't be able to miss it. She's, um, she gets pretty glamorous. Yeah, yeah. For the set, you have a great look. Pre pretty rocking. Um, well, it's gonna be a good show tonight, and um, you know, it's been a year since you released uh, your debut record. Yeah. So, you know, we're gonna get to hear some newer material tonight as well. Are you working on some new stuff? Yeah. We have uh, in the show we have three, three new songs and uh, we're not super fast on composing mostly because we did a, a lot of show this year but uh, yeah some new stuff right yeah right right uh, wanna talk a little bit? oh I can I can I can yeah th there are some new songs there's there's an acoustic song which uh, the singer plays uh, the the ukulele and she's alone in the crowd she usually plays like unplugged so, but I don't know if it will be possible tonight probably not since it's a big venue I don't think she can like unplug her ukulele and just try and sing she might have to scream and <laughs> but you know the other songs are a bit more like a rock I don't know dancey yeah because it's not really rock we don't have any guitars so. and there are no guitars. there's no guitars no there's only a ukulele and a piano violin cello drums bass but no guitar so that's one of our uh, that's something we're kind of proud because there's a lot of bands who always have guitars and that's something that's a bit different so that that's great for that well, listening to the record that i didn't i didn't think to myself oh there's no guitars here. Yeah. it doesn't even you know, it doesn't even cross your mind no 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 there it's still party and you don't need a guitar to have something really loud and that's even better because the the guitar is like often really loud in a mix and it it takes a lot of space so that makes it a little more, uh, I don't know, there, there's room for everything so you can hear more the violin and if there was an electric guitar over violin and cello that would be more of a problem. But still I'm looking forward to see Saint Vincent play guitar. Oh yeah, <laughs> she's great. That's what I heard. You mentioned that it takes you a while to, uh, to compose music, so how long did it take for, uh, for the record? It took about like two, three years, but it's funny because we didn't release anything, so nobody was expecting nothing. We just released one song on the net on, in three years, and then the album just came, and people were like, well, who are they? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, may maybe in 2015, and I hope we're going to go to Australia, because... Uh, you ask a kid's ear, favorite place in the world is Australia. I don't know if you have the same in Australia, but <laughs> like we think if we dig very, very deep, we can. Um, yeah, we'd love to have you down in Australia. Have you toured outside of Canada yet? Not really. We went to France one time and the Canada. We went to uh, British Columbia and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we went to LA one time just for one day in the winter. And then we came back like by plane, but that was awesome. So you are, I imagine you're hoping to get get touring a bit more. I know this is kind of the start of a little bit of a summer tour for you. Yeah, yeah. On the road. Yeah, mostly festivals, big festivals, big fun. Yeah. So hopefully, out of that, people see you and say, "I'm going to fly you to my festival in Germany or, please, or New York." Please, please, seriously. Like we want to we want to see countries and stuff like that. So how have you found a year on, you know, how have you found that, what's well, more than a year now, obviously, but, um, you know, how have you found the reception to be, um, for the record, how, how are you feeling about it now, you, you know, this long matter? Very excited. Uh, in Quebec, it's working super well for us. Uh, except Quebec, it's more like we're in new bands and uh, we're, we're trying, but uh, people like yesterday, like 10,000 people, I'm super down with that. <laughs> I mean, 
like before that album uh, we were just playing in bars and I, and I kind of miss it sometimes because it's more like you drink and you say silly things and you, nobody cares but but yeah yeah no that's really different playing in front of five ten thousand people than only like 50 or I don't know a hundred, hundred people in a bar that's that's not the same mood you you don't get to see like someone's specific face it's like it's just like a bunch of people so you can just enjoy the, the, the party and see it. everyone is with their hands up and eh, so, so that's pretty good the music does seem to, to work like that it would work in both environments though all the same be it a small bar or a, or a festival stage yeah it works for I, I think it works for both uh, but do you change the approach a little bit each time in terms of the songs you play and, and maybe how you explore them in the, in the live environment yeah a little bit there's yeah. more room to like move on a big stage and there's not people just in front of you so it's kind of, I'm kind of shy when it's like people just there and I don't want to be dancing because I'm, I'm a shy person maybe but in big stage I'm like yeah no I'm, they're so far and there's so much energy and stuff like that but bars are bars and I like bars so, <laughs> so has, to someone who hasn't heard your music I mean you, you've described a little bit in terms of the instruments and then and that you know there's there's a lot going on but you know how would you how would you best describe your sound and, and, and the band we often say uh, indie pop orchestral as this yep. style that's that's indie it's definitely pop a bit jazz the the i mean the the, the vocals uh, can have a, a jazzy touch because our singer has uh, studied jazz vocals uh, in university so uh, I'm, but but orchestral because because of the strings obviously but i don't know if the we, we can call it rock since there's no guitars but it still like it still grooves on, on stage so it's pop music. I mean, indie pop. Music. Indie pop. Yeah, it's called it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Anything like that? Is there is there something that you went? I want to do that because of this. So, I will say, Arcade Fire because they're from here, but mostly because we all studied uh, study in university and uh, college, and a lot of friends who play violins and cello and like that. Just what. I just wanted to try like something special, like, uh, new instruments and stuff. But uh, lo local native, we uh, we played we played with uh, local native two days ago, mm -hmm. and that's a band that uh, inspired us when we were doing the album. So that's mm -hmm. nice. We we're super happy. And the design of the, the album cover it kind of reminds me a bit of a Wes Anderson film. Oh yeah. Okay. What's, what's yeah. That was kind of uh, not the ID, but that's funny. I didn't tell. Uh, People will, uh, you know, catch that. But uh, yeah, we're big fan of. Wes yeah, we're all big fans <laughs> of Wes Anderson. Yeah. Everybody, I guess. Huh? Have you seen the Grand Budapest Hotel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. Ah, I haven't seen it myself. But. It's 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 uh, crazy. Like each each scene, it took like maybe like I don't know. It's all like you think about everything. Like, so. It's crazy. So what do you what do you hope from the future for the band? What's what, what what's looking ahead you know mostly traveling for real cuz uh, the album is just released in Canada so maybe in Europe if we find a label uh, Australia those places like uh, states we want to see we want to see the world yeah. well we're looking forward to seeing you tonight I'm, I'll be at the show with, uh, yeah. with you and St. Vincent tonight so really looking nice. forward to that nice. and um, until then thanks for taking the time to talk to us today hey thanks, thanks to you man. thanks